Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Haley with Haley Stitches and today I'm going to show you how to make a super simple quilt using just one layer cake. You can find the details of this quilt pattern and a link to the free download in the description of this video. So come along with me and let's make this easy layer cake quilt together. You'll only need a handful of supplies to make this quilt. The first thing you'll need is a layer cake which is a pack of 10 inch pre-cut squares. I'm using the fabric line Willow by Sharon Holland. You'll also need a rotary mat and a rotary cutter a long ruler and matching thread. The thread I'm using is called Dove by Orofil and everything will be linked in the description of this video. The first step is to separate our layer cake into two equal piles. One pile is going to be for the background and one is going to be for the four patch blocks. Because I want my quilt to be super scrappy, I am going to separate the duplicate prints between each pile so that I get a nice mix of fabric for the background and the four patch blocks. Next, we'll take one of these piles and trim them down into nine and a half inch squares. So I'm gonna use this orange one because it gives nice contrast against my cutting mat. And I do have a nine and a half inch square ruler that I'm going to use, but you can do this with your long ruler. You don't need the square one. I'm not typically drawn to this orange color, but I love how it looks with the rest of the colors in this layer cake. Do you prefer to work with certain colors? I find myself gravitating to blues and greens mostly. And here I'm just showing you that you you can stack a bunch of squares on top of each other to make quick work of trimming these down. Now it's time to trim down our other pile of 10 inch squares. So before I cut these, I am going to separate them into two piles, lights and darks. This doesn't have to be exact. I'm just doing this to make it a little bit easier on myself as I start to assemble the four patch blocks. For this pile, we are going to cut them all in half. One tip I have for working with pre-cuts is that you always wanna measure it before you start cutting. And this is because some pre-cuts measure from the peak of the pinked edge and some measure from the valley. And the pinked edge is just kind of that zigzag pattern on the edge of all pre-cuts. So before you work with any pre-cut, just measure it and make sure it truly is the size you want it to be and determine whether they're measuring from the peak or the valley so that you can get really nice accurate size cuts. And here I'm just gonna stack a bunch of them together so that this cutting goes a little bit faster. And what I just said about measuring the pre-cuts before you work with them, don't let that scare you. Don't get too fixated on it not being a hair or two over or under your measurement. You know, I find unless you're piecing a very intricate quilt pattern, getting the exact measurement and being so precise just isn't that important. I would say a consistent seam allowance is more important as close as you can get to a quarter inch. Again, don't worry about being perfect. As long as it's consistent through the whole quilt, it'll end up looking great. And especially with this pattern because the scrappiness and the patchiness is just gonna hide all those imperfections. I am definitely a fan of the saying, done is better than perfect. After all that cutting, we'll end up with 21 light rectangles and 21 dark rectangles. So to assemble these four patches, you're gonna pair a dark rectangle with a light rectangle and sew it together using that quarter inch seam allowance and I am going to press it all to the darker side, just meaning that I'll press it towards the darker fabric so that that seam doesn't show through to the front of the lighter fabric. And then we are going to cut these assembled pieces in half to get two identical partial four patch units. And next we are going to cut all of these light dark pairings down into two partial four patch blocks. And I love layer cakes. I think they are so fun because there's such an array of fabrics and colors that come in them. They're a great way to step out of your comfort zone while still keeping a super cohesive look for your quilt. And then you will take those units and rotate one of them so that it goes dark, light, light, dark but I am going to make it super scrappy. So I'm gonna grab a partial unit from another pair of fabric to get this great scrappy look. The last step in piecing these four patch blocks is to sew these together. So you'll see that because we rotated one of them, the seams actually are nesting. They're going in opposite directions. So you'll be able to butt those seams up next to each other and give it a great crisp, clean intersection to give it that awesome four patch look. I pressed my seams open on the back of these four patch blocks because it gets pretty bulky with all these seams, but you can press in whatever direction you like. So here is my big pile of unpieced partial four patch blocks and I'm just gonna pick through the piles to pick some contrasting pairs and just make sure that it's that dark light, light dark pattern and get really scrappy and creative with it. It is so fun to pair these together. 
After piecing all of your four patch blocks together, you'll end up with a total of 21 scrappy four patch blocks. And before we start assembling the rows, just make sure you have a 21 nine and a half inch squares and 21 four patch blocks. I like to lay out my quilt before I start assembling the rows, so I have already done that. And here are my first two rows, row A and B. And I love to use these alphabetes and clover clips to keep things organized. I'll have those linked in the description as well. So for row A, it's going to be a solid, a four patch, a solid, and then a four patch. If you're gonna lay your quilt out before you start assembling it, I highly recommend taking a picture so you don't get things mixed up. And to assemble this row, I am going to just sew two together at a time you can certainly chain piece these if you have the skills and by skills I mean not getting everything mixed up but I don't so I'm just gonna do one at a time solid four patch solid and just make sure that four patch is in that dark light light dark pattern before you sew the pieces together and this is what the piece row A looks like. You'll see I have a couple fabrics that are the same right next to each other and I don't mind because I'm going for that super scrappy look. And here is row B and row B is going to be assembled four patch solid four patch solid. And I'm going to piece this just one by one and you'll see there the mushroom print is upside down. If you care about the directional print that is something you'll have to pay attention to as you're piecing those four patch blocks. But again I want this to be super scrappy and random so I don't care if some prints are upside down that just doesn't really bother me and again just as a quick reminder make sure those four patches are in that dark light light dark orientation before you sew your rows together this is what a piece row B will look like again it's four patch solid four patch solid so when I put the row A on top of it you'll see that it gets that great checkerboard look going you'll make a total of four row A's and three row B's press the row A's to the right and the row B's to the left and as you're piecing these all of the seams will nest Pins will help a lot here because these rows are so long, but the nesting is also gonna help you get those nice crisp intersections of 90 degree angles. So you'll just assemble the whole quilt, A, B, A, B, until all the rows are pieced together. And here is my finished quilt top. I will give you a little bit better view in a second here, but I just love how scrappy this one turned out. I think the colors are beautiful. One of my favorite things about this pattern is that it uses an entire layer cake with no additional background fabric I feel like that is so hard to find and the free pattern actually includes a second size a larger size that uses two layer cakes but if you want to use chart packs instead of layer cakes check out this video it is another free four patch quilt pattern that uses two charm packs and a little bit of background fabric to give the exact same design using different pre-cuts 